Today is a good day and it's Sunday gun day. A quick shout out to Mr. Luke Bernal who asked me to make a comparison video between the SIG P365 and the Model 19 Smith & Wesson Carry Comp. Alright, alright, alright. Let's not get too technical. So I'm just gonna make a description and a side-by-side -side comparison based on the layman's term or from the perspective of a new gun owner. First things first, the mandatory safety check. All the guns are empty and properly checked. All clear. Now back to business. So I'm making this video, this comparison video based on Mr. Luke Bernal's request. Although they're a different platform, they're both concealed carry firearms. So basically same principle, but I will do a side-by-side -side comparison based on concealability, capacity, comfort, fun factor, or your activity or purpose of use. Let's get to it. Today's a good day. Hushow! Concealability. Obviously, the SIG P365 has the advantage. The SIG P365 is striker fired, so there's no exposed hammer. And it's built with polymer, lower receiver, and steel slide. So it's lighter slimmer and shorter the barrel on the description on their website is three inches but minus the chamber the bullet travel is only two inches while the revolver to its due to its construction it's made of steel and wood so this is heavier and because of the cylinder is thicker but you get the full three inch barrel that the bullet travels um, for its optimum performance. So this is striker fired and this is hammer fired. So the hammer is exposed, which if you're wearing a casual wear, usually it sticks out. This one is easier to conceal. So everyday carry, Sometimes you even forget that you're carrying because it's so light. This one, although it's doable, you will need a good holster and a good gun belt to hold it in place. But all day carry, sometimes towards the end of the day, it gets really heavier. It feels like it's getting heavier because it really is heavy, made of, of solid steel and wood capacity with a double stack magazine the sig p365 carry 10 plus one in the chamber so even though it's a very small gun look at all that ammo that can fit in it compared to the performance center model 19 carry comp it holds six rounds of 357 so comfort and capacity to me belongs to sig p365 features that start with the sights the sig p365 this one is the one that they call the x-ray sights, glows in the dark, and that green, big red dot is easy to see even in the dark. While this carry comp only has one dot in the front, which is what they call the tritium night sights, glows in the dark, but since it's daylight, you can barely see it. 
target acquisition. This one is faster. This one is good enough, but it's too small. You can barely see it. The rear side on the carry comp is adjustable. On the SIG, it's fixed. The SIG P365 is built with a rail for your optics or your lights or your laser mount. The carry comp don't have any rails. Although out of the box, this carry comp comes in with a pair of rubber grips, which makes shooting hot loads 357 Magnum more comfortable. It's less concealable, but more comfortable since it supports the web of your hand with this rubber. And, but I still like this one just for the looks. The trigger for the SIG is nice, light, and good enough for quick successive shots. While the double action trigger pull on this one is heavy, but it's capable of doing a single action trigger pull, which is very, very light and good for target shooting or precise shooting. The carry comp has a built-in compensator or what they call magna port, which helps taming the recoil and gives you an opportunity to be more accurate than an average shooter. I like it. This one is not compensated. So functions and features are definitely different. But if your purpose is for everyday carry, the SIG P365 is lighter, carries more ammo, more comfortable to carry, more comfortable to shoot. But the power factor belongs to the Smith & Wesson carry comp. My overall perspective is if you really want to buy a gun for everyday carry, this is the one to go. Capacity 10 plus 1, very capable ammo. You can shoot 9mm NATO, 9mm plus P. Good for urban carry, jogging, walking in the park. Wear your casual shirt, very light. You can carry it the whole day. So what's the advantage of this one? The advantage of this one is the power factor. You go outdoors, carry it. You can carry different types of ammo, snake shots, 38 special, 38 plus P. And if you need more power, you can shoot hot loads, 357 Magnum, full metal jacket, sub point, hollow point, you name it. And with this ammo shortage right now, this gun has every advantage. You get, you get what you can. So if you go to the shooting range, they have 38 special, you buy 38 special. Most of the time, they don't have the 9 millimeter available and price is just so expensive if you see them. Advantage two is the looks with the wood grips. It's so handsome and fun factor. Another fun factor is the magna port. So when you go to the shooting range, you can feel that it really helps tame the recoil. And it's so cool that you can actually see the blast coming up from the front. I had fun shooting it. 
if your recall sensitive shoot 38 special all day long is nice disadvantage is it only carries six but with the 357 i never feel under gun imagine walking in the woods encountering wild animals you know this gun can handle it this bad boy can comfort if you can you use a uh, good holster you can carry it outside the outside the belt or outside the pants i have no complaint i usually uh carry this with a jacket covering it or some hoodie like this the truth is i have to dress around this gun because it's bulky but if you're in the woods anyway or in the outdoors you're not worried about concealability now the deal breaker for this one usually is the price the cost is like around 1100 depending on your gun store or your state plus the tax this one is 500 to 600 dollars it's like you can buy two of this with just one of this. So the choice is yours. Both are very concealable. Both are very effective and reliable. Both are fun to shoot. Today is a good day. And always think safety. All right, Mr. Luke Bernal, I hope that answers some of your questions. If not, you can always visit their websites anyway. See, and Smith and & Wesson, and you can also call their customer service hotline. They're very, very accommodating. It's a good day. And always think safety. All right, all right, all right. Sunday, gun day. <laughs>